Hey, 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 what's up, everyone? It's Kaz, and I am back with State of Decay Breakdown. We are doing the October challenge, excuse me, which is to kill 200 zombies with edge weapons. And for that purpose, I have Sophie Johansson, who is my ninja edge weapons expert. And we're going to go out and go kill some zombies. So let's get started now. Uh, if you noticed in my last episode, I was using Diane. But um, she's not really that good, so we switched out to Sophie because she was sick, and now she's healed. So we're going to go chop us some zombies. And Sophie is a long-standing member of my group. Uh, remember, my group has been around since the first day that breakdown started. So this is my two-year playthrough. And all of my people here have been with me probably for about two years, more or less, give or take. So we're going to go out here and see if we can generate some zombies to do the challenge. We'll take a look and see just exactly where I am in the challenge once we hit a safe zone. So if you're going to bring up your menus, always do it in a safe zone. All right, so we're going to look at the achievements. Of course, we're on Xbox One, so you can only do this on Xbox One. So let's load up the achievements and see what we got. We got Slasher Flick, which is at 42%, so I've got quite a ways to go. So let's get started on that lickety split. And uh, what I like to do is I like to go to an area that's not defended, but is just outside of a safe zone. And this way we can... Uh, be sure that they don't come behind us and ambush us from behind because the worst thing to do at level 13 is to um, have to fight when zombies are rushing us from every single direction so here we go we're going to throw some firecrackers and just get it out there in the unsafe zone now they'll come running and we can pick them off as we want. See? There we go. And they're going to come running. Oh, and there's a horde. So. We are going to beat a hasty retreat, actually. <laughs> we need to thin them out a little bit more. There's just far too many of them. Remember, I'm at level 13, so the zombies hit uh, as the hardest that the game will allow them to hit. Let's just get them a little bit away from us. Cool. Sophie just chops them up. Of course, we want to make sure that there's no ferals. Ferals are the worst thing ever, especially at the higher levels. Uh, one or two pounces and it's over for you. Do I have any fire? I don't even have fire. Do not even have fire. And she's not a focus aim. She has ninja, so we got to be very careful. So we can't go to the well with focus aim. Oh, nice. That spinning backhand. And we will beat a hasty retreat again. Woohoo! Take a homemade painkiller. Look at them all coming, huh? They're just standing there. Get chopped up. Shit. Yeah, they hit hard, guys. They really do. Oh, we got nothing left, huh? Take a snack. Get in the car. The car is always your best friend, guys. Look at this, how they swarm me. Jesus Christ. Get off. Get off. Here comes a screamer. As Wayne GSG likes to say, a crybaby. Here he comes. Oh, there's a bunch of them. You're dead. And you're dead too. And this guy as well. Another guy too. Alright, so... Now let me be a little bit more careful on this. Because I have no more painkillers. 
have no more painkillers, but I can go and stock up. So let me just go stock up. I know that there's a supply locker right here on the ground floor. So we'll go in there. Even at the higher levels, they seem to spawn even within your safe areas. So got to be careful about that. Okay, so let's go find some homemade painkillers. And there we go, we got them right there. And I'll also take another snack. We're very low on snacks, but um, you know, it is what it is. And we have to do this challenge. When I did the, I think it's the September challenge, I used up every one of my snacks that were in my meat wagon. So whatever surplus snacks I had, I used every single one of them. And I'm at a loss for snacks at this point. You should always have snacks. You should always have a surplus of snacks, as a matter of fact. All right, so let's see if we can generate some more zombies by throwing a firecracker. Here we go. They might not spawn immediately, but they will spawn eventually. So you'll see them coming. Let's give them added incentive by coming out into the unsafe area. Where are ya? Sometimes the firecracker spawns a feral. That's not good news. If I could take them, if I could take them um, one by one, it's easy. But Jesus, I can't take them if they come swarming. Not even with nimble, not even with anything. And Xbox kind of controls are a little bit sluggish, I think. So I see people playing on PC. There's a lot more level of control with the mouse, I think. Maybe not with the keyboard, but definitely with the mouse. And we're on our way. Come on, buddy. There we go. I see a bloater out there. Oh, shit. That's an unsuppressed weapon, which is never a good thing. I should have checked to see. Let's see if I got a suppressor in the back of the truck. Oh, I do not, but I have a suppressor right here. Oh, watch out, buddy. And that's what I like about Sophie. Not only is she a nimble, but she's um, a very proficient edge weapons expert. So she can usually kill them with one hit. I'm kind of banking on that because I really need her to do her thing. You know, um, edge weapons is sort of like swinging wildly at times. So a one hit kill really helps out. What else we got here? All right, let's go around here. If they won't come to me, I'll go to them. Come on, people. Come on, people. Zombie, zombie, zombies. I'll take this time to shout out my State of Decay affiliates. Uh, they are still doing State of Decay in its full glory. You can check them out on the right of my YouTube page. And I just want to say thank you to everyone I reached 800 subscribers this week and I'm extremely grateful for everyone who has subbed and who still enjoys my videos um, I am doing state of decay as a challenge series now primarily But there might be a time where I go back to doing a kind of like a retro playthrough But for now, I'm gonna stick to doing the undead labs challenges I find it gives me a purpose. All right, we, we seem to be making good progress here. Yeah, we seem to be chopping shit up, which is excellent. Right? We're out here in front of Blaine's Grocery. 
the big B. Come on, where's everybody? All right, I'm going to have to venture out a little bit further. Here's an, uh, a neighboring enclave. I think it has Casey Winters. has some really good survivors. I like to hold on to them, not, not recruit them, because I need their storage locker uh, to gain some influence. So I kind of use them. Eventually, I will take them into my home base. But for now, I'm just using them. Surprise, there's no ferals. You're dead. You're dead. All right, so let's run over here. And uh, we'll get these guys next. Oh, it's a zombie horde? Seems like a pretty small zombie horde. You gotta get them before they interrupt you. As I repeatedly said, they hit hard. They hit hard at level 13, so you really have to stay on your toes. And um, really, you don't want to get hit. So prevention is the key. Come on, buddy. Coming after you. I see you. Chop. All right, so we're good. I see a couple more in the distance. We're going to get in the car. And uh, car doors slamming are a very good way to get um, zombies spawned. I find you close the car door and here they come. So you want to be in an unprotected area and then you want to just jump out your car and then jump back in again. And you'll see how many spawn. They come running from the distance. Well, let's go back into the um, parking lot of Blaine's. All right, it seems like I've sort of used up the spawns in this area. That initial... Sp here they come. See? Come a-running. Seems like everything is a running zombie at these higher levels. You hardly see anything come shambling or slow-moving. George Romero zombies. You don't see them anymore at these levels. So you have to be on your toes because they will bum-rush you. Shall we go into Blaine's? Let's go into Blaine's. We'll turn on our flashlight and we'll take a look at what's going on in here. Eh, not too much. There's one out in the distance. Let's go get him. Here, zombie, zombie, zombie. And this weekend, it is Saturday morning. This weekend is The Walking Dead Season 6 premiere, and I'm so excited. If you're a Walking Dead fan like I am, you really are anxious to see the new season come up. Also, I just want to make an honorable mention to Fear the Walking Dead, which I felt was a little bit slow. Kind of a lot of um, character development. But the final episode did not disappoint. It, it got me emotionally involved and... Um, I think I'm going to like the next season, uh, especially to see the apocalypse occurring and uh, the fall of civilization. I'm, I'm really excited to see that. So, Also, I've been enjoying uh, Z Nation, which is a bit more campy. I find it to be a bit more um, sci-fi network, if that's the best I could say. It's a sci-fi network. It's the Sharknado of zombie shows, so no doubt about that. It's funny. It has some levity to it. It's not just all drama and everything like that. And so I find it to be a pretty good show. All right, so we're making some progress here. We're making headway in this achievement. I'm not going to say I wish they would spawn a little bit more, but I could, I could use a couple more zombies. If I get out here, watch, they will they will ridiculously swarm. Look. See them? And some news on Undead Labs. Um, there's a patch forthcoming, although I would not 
hold my breath for it. But uh, they say it's going to come, so... If they say that, they say that. But I do know that they're working on their next thing, which is, I guess, State of Decay 2, probably a multiplayer option. So that in the coming year. So we've been anxiously awaiting that, and um, it's in the works. I don't know if that gives you a warm and fuzzy about how soon it'll be here, but they are working on it as we speak. So they can't tell you too much about it, but I can. And they drop hints about it being in the works. Uh, their developers are working on it diligently as we speak. All right, so we're, we're, we're doing pretty good here. I would dare say we're at 50%. No call. Let's take a look. We are at 71%, so we've really made some progress. I'm definitely happy, but we will not finish this in this episode, that's for sure. So let's move locations. I want to go and move to a different location. I think we've used up all the spawns that this place has to offer. And maybe we'll move over here, where there's usually ferals and all sorts of shit that comes up. Watch, I'm going to get swarmed ridiculously, guys. Watch, I'll get swarmed ridiculously. I know it. Watch how I get swarmed. See? I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Nice leapfrog action. We'll thin out the little... Especially since I don't have meds. So, let's go over to Sprang. Or this little warehouse where I have a little outpost set up. And we'll go get some more meds. I find these challenges use up a lot of... Um, oh, I have meds. I find that these challenges use up a lot of resources. Um, I definitely see that resources get chewed up. Especially influence and snacks. So if that's one thing that these challenges do, they definitely eat up a lot of my resources. Which is good. I mean, I have stockpiles for years. I have like pipe bombs that I made like a year ago. Still in, in my surplus. Alright, this is a good area here. Wow. Sophie, you do your thing, girl. And so many special infected. I don't mind the bloaters and the screamers, but those ferals. Ferals are still the bane of my existence. And if you're a State of Decay player and you hear that feral, oh, Jesus. It still puts a chill down your spine. Okay. And I really want to finish this because the swords that I've seen, I saw in the Undead Labs Twitch stream recently, uh, all the swords that you get for this challenge are truly superior. Man, they have some good swords. So I am anxious to get them and to show them to you. All right, come on, buddy. Come over to the truck. Come over to the truck. Excellent. Come on. Come a running. Come a running. Come a running. You're dead. All right. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. And we're going to be chilling out here in front of the spring. And I just want to thank everyone for watching my channel, subscribing. Don't forget to like my videos. And also uh, go and check out. All the people on my Follow Friday Blast shoutouts. If you're not following me on Twitter, you should. I Blast shout out so many good gamers, so many people on Twitter. Uh, the best that YouTube and Twitter have to offer. So thanks for watching, everyone. This is Kaz signing off. Take care. Peace.